Hi guys, it's Mrs. Elbitz here and welcome back to my channel. Moving on to the next few scenes in Act 2. Okay, to Neil Dri from page 77 to 80. This is where Fila walks to the magistrate's office for the first time. Obviously, they said that they would bring back the boy by Saturday. Um, we know that a few days have passed and she still hasn't seen him. So now she is going to Nines now to go and look for him. Remember, ladies and gents, that it is two days walk to Nisna and two days walk back. So that means that Fila walks about four days um, there and back every time that she goes to Nisna. But this now is the first um, walk. We find her at the front door um, knocking and then she goes to the side door where a cleaner opens. Um, Fila asks to see the magistrate. Uh, the, the cleaner says she couldn't because he's in, um, in the courtroom. He's busy. She says she wants to lay um, a complaint because two white men came to fetch her son and hasn't brought him back. Um, the cleaner then goes inside to fetch the constable. The constable gives her the message that this case is closed. It's finished. It has been resolved. And the child is with his rightful parents. Now, what is sad to me here and what stands out about the government not caring about Fila Obviously, if a child is taken away from a parent um, to go and identify or to be in a lineup where parents would identify whether you are or are not um, their child, uh, you should go back or send message to the original parent to let them know what has happened. But here, they just disregard her. They don't give a damn whether she knows or does not know what, what happened to her son. Um, she has to walk for four days to just hear that the case is closed and it's finished and he is with his rightful parents. Uh, she doesn't get to know where he is or with whom he is. It's just simply the case is closed. Um, the constable also then says that this woman picked him out out of four boys, which means it was a, a lineup. The government is trying to cover themselves here, saying that, you know, it was an impartial uh, picking. Uh, the lady picked him out of four boys. Fila is very... Um, shocked and, and, and rightfully so. She's um, very upset and she says it's like somebody dying without you getting to say goodbye um, because he's just pulled away from the family and she, she doesn't get to say goodbye. Now when this um, scene starts she speaks a lot about Sail Susa Slung. You would have noticed that in the movie as well. Now we always associate a snake with being devious or, or evil. Um, here she's not using it that way. When you have to grovel and beg, you go metaphorically and, and sometimes if you think uh, if something happens literally, you have to go all the way down to the ground to be on your knees, to grovel. Um, and what she's saying here is that she needs to grovel before the government now. She needs to beg. And she then relates this to a snake because the snake is the lowest animal to the ground because it, it's slithering on its stomach. So that's why she's saying Sales is a slung. She needs to bend down. She needs to humble herself. She needs to beg. She needs to grovel. Um, and just a little bit of, of why the snake. And remember, she comes from Langekloof. Langekloof is a, a dry area with lots of snake. S snakes. Vins. Okay, then scene four, most horrible scene in the entire book. Um, those of you who get class from me would know that, that Elias to me is a, a absolute monster and I hate the man and I, I get very excited later in the book when bad things happen to him, which makes me a very horrible person. I'm sorry. Okay, so it's scene four, page 82, 83, we are in the forest. Elias has now trekked um, and hunted, if you want, um, binge, uh, look us through the forest he will be able to find Lucas easily uh, because remember, Lucas doesn't know the forest as well as Elias. Elias grew up in the forest, so he knows how to um, find someone and he finds Lucas quite quickly. When he finds Lucas, he puts him down on the ground and he sits on him. So here we have a grown man overpowering a young boy and he's got his whip with him. And with every question that Elias is asking, with every answer that comes or before every answer comes, he whips the boy. Now, just in perspective, I do believe that Fila would have given 
Benjamin are hiding when Benjamin was naughty. Um, I believe like a lot of our parents, maybe a smack on the bum or a smack on the hand. Um, your typical uh, reaction to when a, a child is naughty. However, I never believe that, that Benjamin has ever experienced true violence in the house where he grew up. So this is his first encounter of being, first of all, set on as in subdued, as, as this man is doing here. He's doing it with force. He is using a whip to to um, hurt the boy. And instead of just asking or, or telling or, or, I don't know, discussing, there is this absolute violence where with every question, every answer, he's being whipped. Now, this you can argue is why Lucas accepts who he is eventually. Because when you are beaten to say that you are a specific person, I, I believe you stop fighting it because you would be so scared to say that you are not Lucas in fear of being beaten like this again. Right, so here we go. Yelias wants to know who is uh, Lucas's ma and pa, who's the mum uh, and dad, who's the brothers and sisters, um, and he needs to answer. Unfortunately, obviously, he doesn't know all their names. And for every time he says something wrong, he gets beaten. And I think the worst question is, and who are you? He starts with Benjamin and then realizes if he says Benjamin, he will be whipped even more. So he stops himself halfway and he says, Lucas. Um, so this boy is now being beaten into submission. When he's back at home, Barta is very upset because there are visible marks of where Elias has whipped him. Um, Nina tries to, to get away, but Elias stops her. What is sad as well in the book that is different from the movie is the brothers, Willem and Christoffel, actually covers the exits. So they, they catch Nina inside the house so that Elias can beat her as well. And when she is down on the ground... Uh, crying from being beaten. He grabs her, he pulls her hair, and he starts cutting her hair with a knife. I think in the movie as well, the girls all cringed with that. The boys, I think you, you believe that that was probably the worst thing you have ever seen. It is a very raw scene um, to be, you know, to see child abuse like that up front. Thanks for watching guys. Remember if you've got any questions, you can follow me on Instagram at Afrikaans Classroom. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Like and share.